We got a Target haul for you today, so let's get cracking! Hello all my explorers and welcome back to Lawrence Adventures out there. And if you're new, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. My name is Lauren and I'm with Castles, Capes and Clones where we discuss everything in the Disney universe. We talk Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, The Muppets, 20th Century, National Geographic, Hulu, Disney Plus, ABC. If it's about Disney, we are talking about it. So if you like that kind of content, we would love it if you would subscribe to our channel, hit the bell for notification, and do like this post as it really does help us out. Okay, so I've got just a short video for you today. Yesterday I went to Target and I got a few things and I just thought I'd share them. None of them are pins or anything like that, but uh, here we go. This one is from... Bum ba dum bum, bum ba bum. It is Marion Ravenswood. This is a recreation of the original um, action figures, the three and three quarter action figures that they had back in the 80s, which I used to have. I used to have the original, and now I'm so sad, but it looked exactly like this the packaging. This is from The Adventures of Indiana Jones in the Raiders of the Lost Ark. Um, they have another line of Indiana Jones, which I think it's like World of Adventure or something, but it looks more cartoony. But these are the ones you can get. I, I was so mad because the other day I saw Indiana Jones um, in the store and I didn't get him at that time, and then now I, I can never find him, and I'm so upset about it because I wanted it. But I also wanted Marianne Ravenswood. I don't know why. I always loved her for some reason, and I had like a kind of crush on her, even though I was a little gay boy. Um, I still had a crush on her for some reason. So, I, I don't know. I have an affection for her. Mary and Ravenswood. Okay, next we've got the, as you know, <coughs> okay, as you know, and if you don't, I will uh, post a link here. I collect the uh, three and three quarters Marvel Retro, Marvel Legends Retro line. And so this one is of Power Man Luke Cage. Now, he came to us uh, in the pages of Hero for Hire, and um, I absolutely loved this costume. I, I hope that when Disney uh, brings him back, which they will, uh, I mean, uh, when Marvel Studios brings him back, uh, for in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, that they give him something like this to wear, or like you know, he gives give him at least the yellow T-shirt that he normally wears in the comics. But um, I just love this costume. I don't know why. I just it's so seventies, um, and I just loved Power Man growing up. Power Man and Iron Fist were two of my favorites. Uh, Iron Fist is his um, kind of street partner and the business partner, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Anyway, um, and it says, it says Sweet Christmas on here. Um, they got the little collector's card. So, I love this. Uh, I was glad to have seen it in the store. I hope that they have Iron Fist. Uh, I'm going to have to look up and see if they have them. Okay, and next we have... I found the um, three and three quarter inch uh, action figure. Of Mantis, who you know is my favorite guardian of the galaxy. Come on. Focus on her face. Focus. Um, anyway, 
I thought that this was really cute. She's got the, her new Guardians outfit on. This is what's on back. You know, I, it's so weird, the, this packaging. Like, look at this. Okay, this is what I'm used to growing up. This kind of with the bubble uh, thing and and uh, with the card. And then now they got them in this. And it's, I don't know if I like this. Those of you who collect action figures, let me know. Do you like this kind of packaging? Or do you like this kind of packaging for your action figures? I'm not necessarily loving this. But I do, I do like the fact that I can see her, like I can touch her, um, but then I can't see her legs. Like, what if I don't want to take her out of the packaging? How do I know she has legs? I'm just kidding. Of course she has legs. All right. The final thing that I got is a Funko Pop. And it is one of the um, display ones, or I don't know what you call these, but it's like uh, based on a comic book cover. And I'll show you what the comic book cover looks like at first. It's this one of the Avengers. And I love this because it's got uh, Hawkeye with Ant-Man on the arrow. And they, they actually recreated this look in... Um, the uh what do you call it in mar um captain america civil war uh they did that whole move that's what he kind of looks like here let's see this uh, this is what it looks like without the glare of the glass but look at little ant man right there <laughs> right there and hawkeye i love I loved Hawkeye's old uh, comic book look. I wish that they would have given him that in in the uh, MCU. So anyway, that's what that looks like. Uh, I really like this, and it, I think it's quite apropos that I got something about an archer at Target, right? <laughs> okay, that's it. That's it. I'm going to let you go now, but before I do, let me know in the comments below which one of these items was your favorite, um, and again, let me know as an as an action figure collector, which way do you like your uh, action figures displayed in the packaging, and uh, if you enjoyed yourself today, we would love it if you would subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell for notifications and do like this post as it really does help us out. Visit us on all of our socials down below. Visit our website at www.castlescapesandclones.com. Thank you so much and we will see you later. Bye!